Good morning, everybody. This is Auntie Polly with your online inspiration. And if you hear any sound, it's the sound of the fan. You know, I'm sort of hot just coming. So I just want to use like a few minutes to talk to you about life without goodbyes. What if we live in this world without saying goodbye? What life will be, would be? Would it be joyous? Would it be a joyous moment, a happy moment? I'm sure sometimes, you know, we don't want to lose our loved ones without going away. You know, sometimes it can be joyous. The person is going overseas, you know, you, you, will, be, you will miss them, but you know that you'll see them again. But there's a twist to it. So, having to say goodbye to friends and family can be downright heart wrenching. Whether or not it's watching your little one leave for school that first day or going to college. You know, when my son was going to boarding school, when I, I was happy for him to go, he was giving me a lot of trouble, a lot of talking. So I said, boarding school will be better. Let him learn responsibility. But that morning, when he, I am supposed to leave him at school, I went to school with his suitcase and all these things. And my, when I was in the line to register him, the tears couldn't stop. The tears just came flowing. And I was, you know, I missed him already. And I don't leave him as yet. You know, so that's a part of life. You know, so whether it's watching a little one going off to college, school, there's a bit of sadness, knowing that your life will never be quite the same. Parting after a family reunion leaves you with a knot, right? You have this family reunion, everybody come together. At the end of the day, you are left alone, or you, you know, everybody gone back to their different places of abode, and that loneliness come down on you. It's not a good feeling. You know, it leave a knot in the pit of your stomach. Or watching your loved one disappear behind the security um, line at the airport brings tears as you realize it may be a long time before you see them. And it can bring tears of joy too, you know. So it's the other way around too. But the pain, the real pain that you felt being separated by death is the worst goodbye of all. Knowing that you will never hear the sound of their sweet voice or the gentleness of their touch it seems too painful a burden to bear. Don't. Let me tell you, man, of all the funerals I'm go, I, 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 I go to, of all the funerals, I went to a funeral on Sunday and trust me, it has never been the same losing a loved one. It has never been the same for no one at all. I mean, we, we know that death is sure, death is certain, but this one, we just cannot grip, get it out of our heads, out of our thoughts, out of our mind. This one took a hold on almost everybody in the community, in the church, the family, was is devastated this one right and i just want to pray them up so let me remind you that you must not be despair because the good news is jesus is coming again jesus is coming again soon too soon to take all those who have surrendered their hearts and lives to him to live with him in heaven forever the bible says in revelation 21 verse 4 there will be no more death no more mourning no more crying no sorrow no more pain for the old order of things have passed away oh what a glorious day that will be just imagine a life without no goodbyes no tears no sadness no pain huh but each day will be more wonderful than the day before.
can you imagine what a day that will be when our Jesus we shall see when we look upon his face the one who saved us by his grace when he take us by the hand and lead us to the promised land what a day glorious day that will be let us by the grace of God live our lives in accordance to his will so that when he comes and if we even die before he comes on that first trumpet sound the resurrection morning we shall rise to meet him in the air what a glorious day that will be let us pray for each other let us live lives that count that pleases to god so that when he comes we will not hear depart from me you workers of iniquity i don't know you but we will hear the words well done thou good and faithful servant enter into the joy of thy lord have yourself a wonderful and productive day and remember antipony is saying if you can't be good be careful i love checking out <laughs>